Good morning everyone. Now I shall discuss about the diagnostic imaging modalities for implant placement and its importance. For any successful treatment outcome, preoperative evaluation and planning is of utmost importance. Similarly, for successful dental implantation, proper preoperative treatment planning in which appropriate radiographic evaluation of the edentulous ridge and the potential implant site plays a key role. In the year 2000, American Academy of Oral and Maxillofacial Radiology recommended to employ cross-sectional imaging when planning for treatment. Hence, various imaging modalities produce these cross-sectional images, which I shall discuss in upcoming lectures. Therefore, a thorough radiographic examination enables the surgeon to assess the quantity and quality of the bone present and to visualize the location and spatial relationship between the critical internal anatomic structures to avoid any complication such as nerve injury or any risk to the patient. Now moving to the characteristics of an ideal imaging technique. In the field of dentistry, various imaging modalities are available. But for preoperative bone evaluation in implantology, the following are the essential characteristics one imaging technique should possess. The ability to visualize the implant site in the three-dimensional directions such as mesiodistal, buccolingual and superior inferior directions. The ability to allow reliable and accurate measurements of bone height, width and depth which can be calculation on the image. Capacity for evaluating of a trabecular bone density and cortical thickness for qualitative assessment of the bone ability to visualize surrounding critical anatomical structures and its spatial relationship to the implant site. It should also have reasonable access and reasonable cost to the patient with minimal radiation exposure. Multiple views for the proposed implant site should be taken for proper preoperative evaluation and considering benefit to risk ratio. So this often requires the use of different imaging modalities. The imaging modalities can be of both either as analog or digital imaging or in two-dimensional or three-dimensional views. Analog imaging modalities are two-dimensional systems where they employ X-ray films or intensifying screens as the image receptor. These traditional imaging modalities can be viewed on a radiographic film upon image processing followed by the exposure. These analog radiographs may be of intraoral or extraoral projections, which includes periapical radiography, occlusal radiography, panoramic radiography, cephalometric radiography, and plane tomography, which in detail we can discuss in next lectures. Now, moving to digital two-dimensional imaging. Digital imaging refers to the numeric format of the image content as well as its discreteness. This two-dimensional image is described by an image matrix where spatial distribution of individual picture elements are present and are curled as pixels and in terms of different shades of grey of each pixel as you can see in a photograph. Moving to the three-dimensional imaging, in digital three-dimensional image, an image matrix that has individual picture or image elements are described in terms of voxels. In this digital image, one can view or measure not only its width and height, but additionally its depth or thickness can also be evaluated. These complex imaging techniques include multi-slice computer tomography and cone bean computer tomography, which are used most commonly for the diagnostic purpose in implantology. Typically, three-dimensional imaging modalities have an intensity scale of 12 bits or 4096 value. As multi-slice computer tomography and cone bin computer tomography produces image in the form of digital data which are then key then be reformatted and with the help of simulated softwares the process of diagnosis and treatment planning can be made which will be interactive and visually more meaningful on the personal computers and these I shall discuss in the coming lectures. Image receptors in digital imaging. 
these image receptors differs from the analog imaging different types of digital receptors are available these includes charge coupled device complementary metal oxide semiconductors that is cms photosimmutable phosphor plates that is psp flat panel detectors there are certain advantages of digital imaging over the analog imaging that is image enhancement this can be accomplished by increasing contrast optimizing brightness and reducing unsharpness noise color conversion of gray scale image called pseudo colors etc can enhance the image display quality for better appreciation of the image on the monitor following the processing of the image they can be transferred to other systems which enables the better communication among the radiologists and clinicians depending on the software the basic image obtained can be reformatted in all three orthogonal projections others like setup for dark room maintenance of solution for processing can be omitted from this digital imaging options for dental implant imaging range from standard projections which are commonly used in dental office to more complex radiographic techniques which are typically used in radiology centers which are two dimensional as well as three dimensional the following are the requirements for successful implant placement and osseo integration so any method of radiographic technique may be employed where these measurements has to be assessed that is 1 to 1.5 mm of bone on either side of the implant fixture 3 mm of distance between two implants 1 to 2 mm of bone between the base of the fixture and the anatomical critical structures a vertical bone height of minimum of 10 mm and a width of 5 to 6 mm thank you